Listen to this. A woman actually went into labor during the storm, something I would never want to do. In that situation, <laughs> you're thinking everything what is going wrong. Yeah, but, but thanks to some fast thinking firefighters and their great work, everything went right. News 12's Tara Jakeway joining us with more on how that local department stepped up in a big way. Tara, good morning. Good morning, ladies. That's right. And everybody knows the road conditions last night were treacherous. They were terrible. And imagine being in that situation when that moment comes. Worst thing that could possibly happen, right? Not when you live in Yonkers and you have the bravest, four of the bravest, who braved it through the storm to make it to the home here in Yonkers and delivered baby Daniel safely. I can report that he's at home and he's safe. I'm here with one of those four firemen right now. Brian, you've been a fireman on the force for five years now, I believe, so not too long. Can you tell me a little bit about the experience? It was definitely one of the most rewarding and exciting experiences of my career and just incredible to see a life be brought into the world like that. When you went into work, I mean, you were kind of expecting the storm, but were you expecting that to happen? No, I was expecting a lot of car accidents, which we got, but nothing like this, so. Now, there's an important note that we were talking about um, just before this about car fires. Now, Christina was just reporting on one, and it is something that you've seen a lot of. I was hearing there were six or seven of them in Yonkers yesterday. Yeah. Do you have any advice to people when it comes to that and to stay away from situations like that? Just stay off the road. In weather like this, it's never worth taking the drive, especially with what was going on yesterday. So just stay off the road. Thank you very much, Brian. And, and again, another tip that the firefighters here and the heroes here are giving me in Yonkers is not only to stay off the roads if you can avoid traveling today, but also not to follow the fire trucks closely, which they're telling me is happening here in Yonkers. And it causes a big problem for first responders that are trying to get to situations like these, happy situations like baby Daniels, who is now safe at home with his family. That's it for now from Yonkers. Tara Jakeway, News 12.